Ooh, what's up, my pilots? Hey, 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 we already did this. No, no, I didn't want to say yes. Ah! Uh, how do I get off? I want to forfeit. I give up. I give up. I surrender. Really though, how do I just... Can I just go in there and die? That might do it. Oh, come here, you. Kill me. Right. Oh, he's taking his time. Dude, you're not very intimidating if I can just do this to you and you don't even go after me. Oh no! <laughs> I'm confusing him. He doesn't know how to respond. Eat me! Eat me! Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's not talk to you. Damn it, Seal! I said... No! I already see oh seven years. I can't. Well, I can't leave. What the hell? How am I supposed to get the gems, dude? This is ridiculous. No, don't do this to me. Oh my god, are you serious? What do you say? What you mean? I have to. I have to fight him, and then I can try and get the gems. You guys are crazy. Get my face. Alright, well, I'll beat him again. So, hang on. You already have this egg. <laughs> okay. Now can I explore? Thank you. Got another first try. He's not a tough fight, honestly. Meow. 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 I love the sounds the enemies make in this game. They're not trying to make you feel bad for those guys. They're trying to make you laugh at those guys. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, okay. One thing that Spyro could have implemented that some other games of this generation had is the ability to turn faster while underwater by pushing a certain button. That's an interesting notion, because a lot of the time, these underwater levels, you can sort of move forward or you can stop, but it's hard to, to turn on a dime. Spyro actually does fairly well if you just stop moving forward and just turn. He turns with... Uh, Quite a tight turning radius, honestly. See, I don't know if he really needs that functionality, but it'd be interesting to have. I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can finish off this level. Yep! That's it. Do -do -do -do! Level complete! Alright, let's get out of here. Because now, in this video, I'm hoping to uh, get back to the home world. We want to go into that speedway, and get the other challenge, which is racing the butterflies. Get that one done. And then there's a whole other world that I want to do. Hopefully we can get it done this video. We'll see. Oh, you know in the first... I think it was the first video of this playlist. Uh, I was thinking about that song where they say, Bruce! It turns out that they're not actually saying Bruce. I, I put a link, in the, I think, in the, in the description or something. Or at least I put the name of the song down in the comment when I, when I remembered afterwards. But they're not saying Bruce. They're saying... Gross. G R O O O S S. Which I don't. It's just a nonsense word, but it's pronounced Gross. Well, the way they they say it, it sounds like they're saying Bruce. I don't know. Okay. And yeah, we know how these go. Yeah, I love that sound. So, can I flame these guys, or do I have to just... Oh, I see. There's little stars that run through to give us boosts. And we can cut corners, too. You don't have to, uh... Whoa. Don't hit the water. I think that might give you a fail. Not sure. But you can cut corners as long as you don't miss any rings. So, if there's an available shortcut, take it. And cut right to the inside, too. I'm not sure if you can flame these guys during this challenge. Probably can't. I mean, you can't kill them, obviously, but you might be able to slow them down by flaming them? I'm not sure. So I'm in third now after one lap, which is pretty good. So I should have no trouble making it through the course and winning. The first guy is actually way ahead of second place, though. So you can see, this is second place in front of me. And he's not even, uh... He's not giving up with a fight. See, the, what, what determines which guys are... Whoa, I keep doing that. What determines which one is winning is which one is hitting the most stars as they go around. So the first place guy, I think you're going to have to be flying pretty well. 
uh, hitting all the stars and cutting cutting the course short in order to, to beat him. But you see, he, he doesn't go for this star, which is a, also a fairly a good shortcut, too. So. so you can see we're already pretty close to him. As long as we can pass him before the end of the lap, we should be good. And it's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking because he's going to be in front of you through the most of this lap. And so you start hitting stars that he doesn't hit, and that's when you're going to catch up. Wow, why do I keep going down when I hit that, that star? Yeah, flaming him apparently does nothing. What's interesting is that this is actually a figure eight course, and so you might see butterflies flying across the other direction like we had there. You see that? Ah, here we go. He doesn't hit this star, does he? And now we're in first place. He also doesn't hit this star. Now, as long as I don't miss a ring, I should be fine. And that's the finish line! Zoe had a clone. 156! Again, if you can beat the time, post a video response. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, we've got... We <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Awesome. <laughs> you like to play. Okay, that's it. That's all. That's all there's left in this level. This, this, the two eggs, and the 400 gems. That's all that the speedways have. One for completing the speedway, one for completing the challenge. Pretty sure about that. And if we aren't, we can always check the atlas. Why don't we do that? Let's see. Sunrise Spring Worlds, and Mushroom Speedway has three eggs? Where's the third one? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go see. I thought there was just one one challenge and then beating the actual course. So, what's the third egg? Maybe Hunter gets involved. Because he always got involved in the Spyro 2 ones. Let's see. I'm going to see... Uh, fly through all the green checkpoints. We already did this, so this isn't what we want, is it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's bail out. Darn it! <laughs> Darn Crashed. No, let's not try again. Are we hit the same line again? I told you, you hear that one a lot. Time attack. Okay, so let's see. Maybe Hunter's lurking somewhere in the level? Oh. Oops, sorry. I'm killing the microphone. I'm killing it! Oh my god. So sorry. Let's see. So. Derp. <laughs> god, that, they, I didn't realize they made that sound the first time we came through here. Okay. Where could Hunter be? There he is. Yeah, check this out. A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. What? Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Oh god, I remember your plane. Jeez. Alright. Look out, she <laughs> Zero to fire. Okay, X or square for turbo. The heck? Oh, I get to control hunter. Whoa, dude, this is awesome. This is not the plane you had in the previous game, Hunter. You got an upgrade at some point and didn't tell us. So you have to fly around and take these guys out. Generally, that just encompasses shooting in front of them. Or we're flying towards them and taking them out as you approach. You don't normally fly this fast. I'm using the turbo, basically, when I'm flying around and not shooting. Whoa. Whoa! Dude! Ah! This plane has some speed. Hit this guy when he comes around. Gotta sort of fire in front of him. Whoa. Oh, get over here! Wow, this is pretty intense, actually. I'm surprised. One of these guys probably in the tunnels, right? Let's just fly through so you can see them. So there should be two left somewhere. Ah, oh, there's one. Hey, dude, where are you going? See, they leave, they leave mines in their path. So don't fly directly behind them. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, crap. See, they're pretty fast, too. So if you're not using the turbo, they're just going to zip away from you. If you are using it, you're a little bit faster than them. So just watch out. Let's see, where's the last guy? I assume he'd be the one that's flying around through the tunnels. Here we go. Damn, I hit the mine! <laughs> a bunch of sheep and flying Did you hear what Hunter said when I hit the mine? He said, "Ah!" <laughs> as he flew to the water. That's ridiculous, man. That's hilarious. I love it. That. That's so funny. Right, where's the other guy? There we go. Got 
three of them? How did I hit three of them? I thought I only hit two. Weird. Okay, well, I just saw one on this tunnel. Let's chase him down when he has nowhere to run. Whoa, whoa, dude! Holy crap, this thing's got some giddy up, doesn't it? Ah, I love this plane! Wow, why don't I remember this from a previous playthrough? Holy crap. Maybe I didn't find these challenges until... I probably didn't find these challenges on my first playthrough. Because I probably couldn't figure out what the heck I was supposed to do to get the third egg. If I even realized it was missing. Where's the guy? Last guy. Alright, let's take him out. We got him. Yeah! You know it. Woohoo! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted Woo! this egg! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted an egg? What is with the sheep and the flying saucers? Anyway... A... Tater? Tater, the dragon who's already able to fly and do backflips? Um... Okay, that's weird. Alright, see you later, Sparks. Do 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 do. Alright, so that means we are done with basically everything we can do in Sunrise Spring! Bruce! Let's go and look at the balloon and see what see what they have to say about the balloon. 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 Oh, I thought I was gonna get the illegal copy message again. Hello. What? Are you guys gonna uh wait, do I have to talk to you? I wanna repay you for saving me from that octopus. We can help you use this hot air balloon if you just bring back someone from each of the other worlds. Right, we did that, didn't we? Who's missing? Sheila! Where are you, Sheila? Oh god. Um, this is not good, because, uh... Didn't we exit that one Sheila level? Only to find that there was a sign out front saying that she had returned to her Alpine home? Oh boy. Are we experiencing a game-breaking glitch here? Moneybags, what are you doing? Oh, crap. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the Kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the best um, that's not supposed to happen. Um, sure. Uh, okay. Am I paying for something that has already happened? Okay, no, I just... I am! Oh my god, he took the gems! Dude, what the... This is ridiculous. What? That's... Oh, what? I don't... But we already beat this level. Oh, I'm so confused. I... Wow, this game actually has ROM glitches. Holy crap, I've... This is... I better go check on those billy goats again. Last time I left them... Yeah, <laughs> What did, he, what did she say? Last time she left them alone, they ate what? Hiya, Sheila. Okay, yeah, we got, we got it. We beat this level. Okay, so let's get out of here. So now Sheila, hopefully, will be at the balloon, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should have beaten the level. That's really weird. This is not supposed to happen. Okay, money bags is gone. That's good. Maybe she'll be at the balloon. Oh, boy. I've, I've never... Wow, I didn't actually think when Zoe said that that we were going to have a bug like that that big. That's a problem. Um, we need Sheila. Oh, thank goodness she, she's here. Or no, no she isn't. Damn, man, what the hell? What the hell, man? Alright, I'm going to go run through to the end of Sheila's level to send that goat guy out to the... Or to send Sheila out to the balloon. Wait a tick. Alrighty then. Let's head on over to the balloon. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! <laughs> the balloon's all ready, sir. Just jump on. Yeah! Not yet. Well, shoot. Um, yes, now, let's do it. In the balloon. mid -A Gardens. mid -A Gardens. What? Uh, cutscenes. Oh, it's Bianca the Mole. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've i tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic. Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster. And eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we got here. This ought to do it. 
You come here. Hey, who's that in the cage back there? Oh boy. What do you mean I have to fight a boss before I can go to the next home world? That's never happened before! <laughs> Actually, in the first game it didn't. This is something that they just started in the second and third games. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. What I want to know is why did we land the balloon here in this lava arena with the monster in it, rather than just going to the homeworld? Did they cast some sort of spell in the wind to blow us off course? Anyway, I guess charge him? Okay, that seems fun. Whoa, if I would use the actual controls for the game, that would help. Whoa, dude, what are you doing? Whoa, what the heck? Controls are... are they reverse or something? What's going on here? So I don't know if you, don't know if you keep charging him, you can keep knocking him backwards. And eventually, you can knock him into lava. And then Sheila goes over and delivers the coup de grace. Kick on the head. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Dang. Okay, yeah, that one you probably should uh, respond to with getting the heck out of the way. This isn't that tough, though. Whoa. Get him, Sheila! Butt smash. Oh, and this one? Yeah, we just charge away. Whoa. Ah, oh, dude, I thought he was going to stop. Okay, my bad. Bam. Get out of here. If he stops that close to the edge of the arena, take him out. Because he has some other moves that he hasn't managed to pull off yet, because I've been uh, getting him so quickly. So you can see, whoa! Ah! It's not actually might be in your best interest to get him to charge you to the edge of the level like that. And then once he does, you can take advantage of... What the heck? Oh, got him! I charged him just as the flames were technically gone. So the game barely, I think, had time to recognize that they weren't there. Alright, don't run off the other edge of the arena, though. Just sort of going in circles for a while. Your charging is fast enough, and stay near the edge of the arena, so that when he finally stops, you can... Get out of here. You see, he's spitting fire. Jump over it, charge him before he gets the second one off. Get him, Sheila! Bam! One more, and we should have him. This is actually a fun boss fight. Whoa. Sometimes they can get weird, but, you know, BAM! So he jumps into the Ring of Fire, breathes, and then he hit him. If you're good, that's what you can pull off. Hello, he didn't jump into a Ring of Fire that time. I'm going down, down, down in the burning Ring of Fire. And we got him. He gave us a baby dragon egg! Named Grayson. Oh, with imagination! Amazing. And then you go right back onto the balloon. Off to the next home world. Oh yeah. I wish you got a lot of treasure from doing that, because I feel like we're 300 gems short now. <laughs> okay, well, at least that glitch didn't prevent us from continuing in the game. Uh, I don't know. So I think in the next video, we're going to explore our next home world and maybe unlock a new character. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.